Hi viewers. Welcome back to my channel. Today our topic is ooze, out of specifications, in pharmaceutical industries. The investigation of, out of specification, ooze, results in the pharmaceutical industry is a systematic and thorough process to determine the root cause of the deviation and ensure the quality, safety, and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. Here's an overview of how OOS investigations are typically conducted. Notification and documentation. When an OOS result is identified during routine testing, the laboratory personnel notify the appropriate departments, such as quality control and quality assurance. Detailed documentation is crucial at every step of the investigation, including information about the test method used, sample preparation, testing conditions, and results. Initial assessment. An initial evaluation is conducted to determine if the OOS result is a genuine deviation or if there could be reasons such as laboratory error, instrument malfunction, or other factors that contributed to the result. This may involve reviewing laboratory procedures, calibration records, and sample handling practices. Retesting. If possible, the original sample is retested to confirm the OOS result. Additional samples from the same batch may also be tested to assess batch uniformity. If the retest results fall within specifications, it may indicate the need for further investigation into the initial OOS result. Root Cause Analysis A comprehensive investigation is conducted to identify the underlying cause of the OOS result. This involves a detailed examination of various factors, including equipment calibration and maintenance records operator training and competence sample handling and storage conditions environmental conditions during testing potential cross-contamination or matrix effects data integrity and documentation practices corrective and preventive actions kappa based on the findings of the root cause analysis appropriate corrective actions are developed and implemented to address the identified issues these actions are aimed at correcting the immediate problem and preventing its recurrence. Preventive actions are also established to mitigate the risk of similar deviations in the future. Impact Assessment The investigation team assesses the potential impact of the OOS result on product quality, safety, and efficacy. Depending on the severity of the deviation and its impact, decisions are made regarding disposition of affected batches, potential recalls, and regulatory reporting requirements. Documentation and Reporting A comprehensive report detailing the investigation process, findings, actions taken, and outcomes is prepared. This report is a critical document for regulatory compliance and is submitted to regulatory authorities as required. Review and Approval The OOS investigation report is reviewed and approved by relevant departments, including quality assurance and regulatory affairs, before finalizing the investigation process. It's important to emphasize that OOS investigations are conducted meticulously and transparently to uphold the highest standards of quality and compliance in the pharmaceutical industry. Regulatory agencies closely monitor these investigations to ensure that pharmaceutical companies are effectively identifying and addressing deviations from established specifications.